Welcome to section 4, dedicated to driver and buffer. In this first lecture, we will talk about what a driver is, the latency and the audio driver types, and finally, the ASIO driver. Ok, let's start this new section with a question. What is a driver? To properly function, any sound card needs to be properly set up in the digital software or system you are using. Generally speaking, any device needs a driver to be able to work. Each operating system calls the driver in different forms, but a driver is basically something like a manual, telling the operating system, such as Windows, Mac or Linux, what the device is and how it can be used. Depending on the driver type, the operating system will communicate with your sound card more or less rapidly. The audio driver type choice will determine the latency of your audio system. For latency time, we mean the time required for the digital information to be transduced back into audible acoustic pressure waves. A typical and obvious latency phenomenon is when you play an external keyboard connected to a software or a virtual instrument and you hear a delay between pressing the keyboard keys and when you actually listen to the sound. The type of audio drivers available for your audio card depends on the type of card you have purchased. We can basically find three different types of drivers, but there are more drivers types depending on the operating system or software you are using. Let's look at this example for Windows drivers. Asio driver this is the driver that currently enables the fastest communication with the audio hardware. Note that, if old, your audio card may not be ASIO compatible. In this case, the choice of audio drivers will fall back on an alternative driver. Direct Sound This driver is part of the DirectX Windows package. If not installed, or if you want to update the DirectX routine, of your operating system, please update your operating system at the latest update available. In order to work with this DirectX driver, your sound card must be DirectX compatible. For details, see instruction of your sound card manual. Windows MME This type of driver is older than the all others and it belongs to the Microsoft package Windows Multimedia Extension. The high latency time of this type of driver is famous. Therefore, accordingly to your audio card, the driver choice must be specified in the order above to ensure the best setting for your system. In fact, if available, it is recommended that you install the ASIO driver instead of the direct sound driver and only as last alternative Windows Multimedia driver. ASIO is the acronym for Audio Stream Input Output. All the professional sound cards are often equipped with the ASIO driver specifically designed for the card. This will guarantee a direct communication between your audio software and the audio card with a significantly smaller latency. The ASIO driver also allows you to ensure support for multiple inputs and outputs and other interesting features. The audio card manufacturers release specific ASIO drivers for the sound cards they produce. However, if available, you should check for an updated driver version of your audio card on the manufacturer website. If your audio hardware is equipped with a specific ASIO driver, we strongly recommend you use it. Otherwise, try to use a standard ASIO driver available at the page ASIO for All. The ASIO driver is also known as a zero latency driver, that is, the time needed to manage audio files is inaudible to human ears. Let's move on to the buffer lecture.